Hey, today I'm going to teach you how to make these super awesome ping pong paddles. I start off with this board of um, Bolivian rosewood that I glued up, and you can see there that I sanded it down and there's a little void going through the board. Next, I trace it out around just a normal sized ping pong paddle to get a reference. After that, I go to the bandsaw to trace out that line, and I stay to the edge of the line so then I don't cut into the ping pong paddle board. After I cut everything out on the bandsaw, it leaves some rough marks, and I'm not perfectly down to the line, so I trim everything up at the disc sander just making sure it gets flush to that line. After I get everything flush on the disc sander, I stay at the disc sander and put my miter gauge to a 60 degree angle for the handles of my board, or for my ping pong paddle, whatever you would like to call it, and I add a chamfer to the edge. Chamfer. And I just do that on the disc, disc sander. And then I glue everything up. And then I flush everything up on the bandsaw. So after I flush everything up on the bandsaw, I move over to sanding. Yes, fun sanding. And I have some CA glue and some activator handy with me to fill up any of the gaps. Since for the handle, I'm using a maple burl which tends to have gaps and this is me putting a couple coats of shellac on this paddle i use four coats on this ping pong paddle of shellac two on each side so then i get a nice glossy finish and i get everything uh, sanded down after each coat and it's time to apply the ping pong paddle rubber. This is the part of the ping pong paddle that uh, makes the ball spin and add speed. And I let that um, attach. Then I trim everything off with the or with a pair of scissors. And look how nice it is. And that's how to make a ping pong paddle.